Hi, my name is Jomas and I'm here to bring you another tutorial on Unreal Engine 4. This time taking a look at how to switch smoothly between third person and first person view. So in this example we have the standard third person uh, example and you can see the character from outside and you can walk around and actually also run. Anyway, that's pretty standard. But say I want to switch to thir first person view using the uh, mouse wheel uh, on, my, yeah, on my mouse. Uh, so how to do that? Let's take a look at it. Uh, first of all, I want to set up uh, some input. So I come into settings uh, under input. And I want to find the axis, axis mappings. And I want to add a mapping in here. So I'll add one called uh, camera zoom and I'll find the mouse and there's a uh, mouse x wheel axis and I'll set that to minus one and this value actually determines if when I uh, scroll my mouse towards me um, it will uh, zoom away um, into third person and if it's uh, I'm scrolling forward it will zoom towards first first person. So if you want to switch this, just turn this to one. Okay. So that's the input part. Um, inside the character blueprint, uh, we need to set up uh, an event for this, and we'll find this camera zoom and axis event. And since I like to put things into functions, I will create this, a function for this. And call this um, care zoom camera zoom like this. And I wanted to take uh, one float parameter and call this uh, axis. Uh, what's it called? Axis value. So it's called the same. All right. So um, returning to the event graph, let's call this. And uh, as I understand, this event input access event is getting called on every tick. So yeah, well, maybe a problem, maybe not. But anyway, let's take a look at it. So we have this uh, in this third person uh, example. We have this camera boom, and it's offset a little bit up, so it's uh, yeah, so it's got a better location. Um, so what we want to do control is the target arm length here and uh, sorry uh, into the event graph I will uh, drag off this camera boom and I will get target arm length this one and we want to adjust this one so first of all I will get get this uh, value this is current value and since, since uh, the axis value is going to change from minus 1 to 1, depending on which uh, way we are scrolling, I will uh, multiply this by um, some kind of step value. So let's just take 50, which is 50 centimeters, and, and then we will add these two together to get the new, oops, new um, target arm length. And yeah, well, I like to duplicate these to avoid having all these long lines going across the screen. So I'm just making a new one and setting target arm length like this. So I'll drag this one here and plug this one in here and maybe clean this up a little bit. So that's it. Whoops, that's not it. Something is wrong. Uh, we need to. Um, maybe come into this one? No. Funny. Um, camera zoom. Huh. Funny. For some reason it didn't uh, register my change of uh, this axis value parameter. And now it's complaining. But maybe now. No. Oh, okay. 
that's funny. Anyway, a uh, quick fi way to fix this. I've seen this happen a few times before. It's just to remove this one and then just drag it in again. And then it fixes uh, the parameter. Um, by the way, I'm working in um, Unreal Engine uh, 4.10 now. So I don't know if they introduced some new bugs, but I don't recall having seen this before in uh, 492. So anyway, blah blah blah. Yeah. So now if I walk around and I scroll on the mouse, I can zoom out and I can zoom in, and I can actually zoom past myself. So that's not very convenient. So let's fix this really quickly. We do this by uh, before I set this value. I want to clamp this to zero, and let's say up to five hundred, so it doesn't go. We can't go uh, that far away. So now I, I try to scroll further out, but I can't. And if I try to scroll past myself, I can't. And you can actually see my feet. <laughs> That's all you can see right now. So, um, so that's kind of a, a nice, easy way to switch from first to uh, third person view. And uh, when you, as I, uh, are trying things out, it's actually nice to see how does this look? How would this look in first person? And how would it look in third person? If I make a gist or something. So it <laughs> kind of kind of also serves as a way to test and debug how things would look and so on. Um, so, uh, I think I'll take a break here and in the next video I will show you how you can, you, you can uh, build a little bit more upon this. So, until next time, bye bye.